Hello everyone and welcome to the first part of Let's Play Tropico 5. Well, actually, maybe not the first part because I've already recorded one part, but it was just an introduction of the game and of the Let's Play. I talked a bit about settings we'll be using. So this is uh, the first part where we'll start playing actually. Uh, also, I've already gone through my buildings in the previous part so we know what we have. And I think I can... Uh, Start uh, the game, let the time flow for a bit, so we can take our Greetings, initial quest. Old chap, have I got a deal for you today? As crown representative, I can offer you your very own trading license. Okay, so here we can get access to some trade routes, uh, but because we are playing uh, on the hardest difficulty, I don't want to invest too much into this. Uh, not gonna buy this uh, cheapest one because that would lower my uh, relationship with the crown, and I don't want to do that. Don't want to do that just yet. Uh, Four thousand is definitely too much in our current situation, so we'll go to the middle option. And uh, we have another quest, uh, so let's pick up as well. His Majesty needs money to build a new underwater palace. He wants you to begin growing money. I mean, one of those crops that make heaps of cash. Okay, so what do we have to grow to pay for His Majesty's underwater palace? He wants sugar, and for that we'll get extended mandate for six months. That's something we definitely need. Uh, because it will take some time before we'll be able to uh, declare independence and as I said in the previous part if uh, we run out of time here we're gonna lose the mission so six months um, is definitely worth uh, uh, going after so accept and let's pause the game first what I want to see is my trade routes what can we get bananas uh, for the crown milk for smugglers Anything else? Coffee for smugglers and uh, cocoa for smugglers. Okay, these two are a bit more profitable than those bananas, but uh, I think I will go with bananas anyway. Uh, as I said, I don't want to piss off the crown just yet. And uh, yeah, it's not that bad. So that means I want to start growing bananas somewhere. Anything else? Nope. And I need to start growing sugar somewhere. Okay, so let's have a look. Uh, where would be the best uh, place to have these plantations? Here on this grid, uh, we have uh, we can choose uh, the resource you want to grow, and uh, overlay uh, overlay square grid will show us where is the best place. The more green, the better place for uh, that given resource. So banana, around this jungle is probably the best place, like here, okay, and what's the second thing? Sugar. Sugar has actually good uh, location right behind our palace, and can I get a plantation here? Or oh, maybe, although I would rather have some industry this close to the dock, and also some military, because, because there are wars in this game. And uh, usually all the invasions start uh, around the coast, around your harbor, around your dock. So uh, usually what I try to do is to build some defenses uh, right on the beach. Uh, some industry behind that and the rest uh, I build uh, you know, further to the middle of the island. So I guess I'll build all my plantations around this area. And we don't need more than one plantation for the sugar, so that will be probably behind our palace. And let's check the rest uh, of the resources we can grow. Uh, we have seen bananas, cocoa, okay, we can grow something here. Actually, a lot of uh, green squares. Coffee. Uh, here is actually a good place to grow coffee. We are, we are growing corn here so far. How does it look like with corn? Yeah, also green. And it's also green uh, everywhere, basically. So maybe I will change this to coffee later and move my corn plantations uh, uh, further to the middle of the island. Okay, cotton. I usually don't like uh, cotton, don't use it that often. Well, just to see if we have something. Okay, what else? Pineapples. 
Yep, we have quite a lot of uh, green squares around, but problem is those zones are overlapping a lot, so I'll have to choose what I'll actually focus on. And yeah, I expected that on this island uh, you are not gonna be able to do that much farming. It's more focused on uh, mines, so we will have to start mining as soon as possible. Just want to know where I can start those few plantations I will be able to get. Sugar we know already and tobacco. Tobacco is not that bad. There is a lot of green for tobacco. So we may want to start some cigar industry that uh, we can start quite early. Okay. And what about pastures? Those are important as well. Especially I want to see cattle. Um, when you build buildings there are some connections between your, your buildings that uh, if you build uh, specific uh, buildings for example next to each other then they can increase uh, uh, or have uh, higher effectiveness. For example if you build the plantations or or pasture with cattle in the middle of your plantations you can upgrade that pasture to help or your plantations you have around so uh, when you're planning your colony it's a good thing to have a look at all of this uh, what about goats okay we can have quite a lot of goats it seems llamas uh, yeah llamas that will be worse and Pigs also is not that ideal, but I'll probably sneak in one pasture with pigs somewhere just to have uh, increased uh, uh, amount of uh, food types or how to how to say it, just a better food variety. Okay, so we know when we can uh, plant things and. Uh, before we start our plantations, I usually set uh, my infrastructure. I see this road is, is a bit too long. I usually want to have uh, the road around my palace. So let's get rid of this part so I can do it properly. And uh, let's start with all our roads. Okay, so this is the middle of the colony at least the middle of the colony I will do like a square-ish grid because uh, we don't have that much room on the island and I want to have uh, the space used as effectively as possible only when I get to these cliffs those roads start to be curved but it's also because um, when we are done with this with this mission we are not done with this island we will get back to the island uh, later during the campaign so I really want to prepare uh, the island for future missions so it will be a bit easier uh, playing uh, on the highest difficulty so I think I probably should make the game uh, or the future missions a bit easier with the proper preparations early okay so let's start doing that uh, this is probably the maximum room I can get here um, what about this? Can I start the road like this? Uh, yep, so that's another uh, square ish uh, zone. Here, we need a road to the center of the island, and here as well. This will be probably the main agriculture area of the colony. And what about the road here and here? as well. Can we connect this? We can. Perfect. And anything else? Um, I'm still not sure about this uh, part because uh, I don't like the farm here or the plantation. I'll probably get rid of this and uh, uh, move it somewhere to the middle. I would rather have some industry here. But uh, you still, still have time for that. Uh, I think we are done with roads for a while. And now it's time to start working on those missions and trades. So, first we need sugar for His Majesty. So let's uh, grab that. And yeah, the best zone for it is right behind, behind our palace. So let's start it here. It's not ideal because we still have one line uh, uh, next to the plantation, but I will just uh, build some houses there. It will be fine. I will try to use all the room, all the space we have as effectively as possible. 
and we will definitely need some more houses so I'll build them here so that's the sugar and now I wanted some bananas for trade routes bananas that's here and maybe I want to build a plantation more to the to the middle of the island uh, so I will quickly check cocoa that's interesting it's uh, dark green so first I will build cocoa plantation here and right next to it I will build the plantation for bananas because now it will be a bit more effective it's a uh, darker green for bananas here okay so that uh, these are farms and do we need anything else uh, we are already in negative uh, with our monies so I think I will just have uh, to let the game play it safe for a while uh, get uh, these plantations up and running and then we can start with something else okay go go It's not a problem if you go slightly to the negatives, you just have to watch it that uh, you drop, don't drop too low uh, so you can still get back to uh, get back to positive numbers. Okay, first plantation is His done. His Royal Majesty has instructed me to present you with this letter of commendation for your achievements in the name of the Empire. In the name of the Empire, okay. And we can choose a reward. Uh, this is just the uh, cash uh, we get in the treasury, uh, so we can build more stuff. Personal gift. This goes to the Swiss account of our uh, of our dynasty, and we can use this money to improve our characters. So uh, sometimes this is not a bad thing, but this early, uh, I definitely need something else. A mandate extension 12 months that's decent but we still have a lot of time and then free colonists isn't bad but I think that uh, uh, on this difficulty I'll probably have to grab the cash it will be better than those colonists we will get those colonists eventually people will keep coming to our island but gold yeah gold won't come by itself so let's grab the money and this means we can maybe build one more thing uh, mm -hmm. I'm thinking now when I have the basic idea how the uh, colony is gonna look like here I will build uh, one road like this and uh, then I will grab a ranch with cattle and place it in the middle of our plantations maybe one more uh, the plantation, where is it? Uh, ranch with cattle, and yeah, place these two uh, around here. So, like this, it should be in the middle of my plantations. So, thanks to this, uh, when I upgrade my branches, uh, they will boost all my plantations around. Good, go, go. And here we are, what now? Mr. El Presidente. Well, uh, not El Presidente yet. We are just a governor now. We'll become El Presidente when we declare independence. That's gonna happen when we get our uh, approval rating above 50. And another quest. And when we declare independence after that, uh, then we become El Presidente. Technological progress is the path to autonomy, Governor. We need more scientists to think important thoughts and discover new... Stuff. And discover a new stuff. Okay, so we have to build library. Yeah, library is the basic uh, building for research. So and it also will uh, unlock the access to more quests for rebels. Uh, so let's accept. And do we have enough uh, money to actually build it? No. So let's. Uh, let the time go again. Uh, run faster, buddy. I need more goods. It's awesome to watch the people. You can click on everyone. Ah, you're going too fast, buddy. 
and you can uh, interact with them. Don't need to do it now, but later we'll have to do it. Uh, but I think now I can let the time run a bit faster. Yeah, we need to develop and uh, there is nothing important going on now except of this uh, of these uh, constructions. So two farms up and running. How does it look like uh, with workers? Okay, uh, we have uh, all worker slots uh, full now on uh, both farms. Perfect. His Majesty has commissioned the finest architects to design his new underwater home. We need your cash crops to pay for them. Okay, so we managed to build a sugar plantation and now His Majesty wants us to export sugar. That shouldn't be a problem and we will get six months extended mandate for it. So definitely want to take this. And also I forget about the trade route. So let's uh, fix that. Uh, where is it? Oh, it's already gone. Oh, come on, I started the banana plantation just because of that trade route. Well, that's a fail. What uh, do we have now? Logs? Okay, that's for uh, pirates. Don't want to do that. Wool for West India Company. Uh, I don't want to start the uh, cotton plantation. Well, then, I think I will start this and uh, yeah uh, piss off the crown a bit I just need the money so let's add the ship to this okay we have cocoa plantation here so it will work I just failed there not to start the trade route with bananas uh, earlier now this is kinda useless. Well, it will increase the food varieties and people will be a bit happier. So, I guess it's fine. Yep. Yeah. Fast forward. Uh, how does it look like with our gold? I mean, with our monies. Um, still not we enough the for the library. That move the world. We rule in secret. We are the salvation of mankind. We are the order, and you will be one of us. So, here are the Illuminati. Uh, and they give us the main mission for this, uh, uh, for this island, to declare independence, to win. Okay, to, to declare independence, you have to increase your popular support above 50%. This is it's, uh, this number. So, I'll definitely take it, and... We can just go on. There's nothing more more we can do at the moment. We still have uh, these two ranch ranches to be built, and we don't have enough money to, to start working on the library. They are at least exporting the sugar now. Okay, some extra cash from uh, the trade route, and. Come on, oh finally, we have uh, some cash, so let's build the library so we can start the research. And where is the best place to build it? Um, or here, yeah this is better like this, I'll be able to build a road around it. So, I guess I'll build it here. Oh, President A likes to read, so it will be right, right in front of the palace. And again, we don't have any uh, money left, so keep going. Another quest, what's that? Being able to stand on your own is a virtue I personally cherish. Self-sufficiency should be every country's goal. Yeah, we need $15,000 uh, or whatever that is. And um, we will get 15 educated revolutionaries for this, but getting 15,000 that could actually take a while because for now I still have to keep investing money into the development of the colony. The more I invest, the more I'm gonna get back. So I will take it, but um, this may take a while. Okay, go, go. Ship. Is here again. We'll get uh, three and a half thousand from this. 
Okay, better than nothing. More people, seven citizens, and more quests. The burden of ruling twists our perception of humanity. To us, people are just a resource that has to be managed properly. Okay, so another quest from the Illuminati to build the five more houses. We have to do that anyway because uh, like most of our population lives in shacks and uh, they are definitely not happy because of that. So uh, one of the first things we have to do is move them out of those shacks and we get quest for it. So let's uh, take the quest and can we start working on that? Uh, housing. Country house. And I will build a few houses next to this plantation to use the space we have next to it. I think I can build one house at least for now. Go go. Fast forward. Still have enough workers everywhere. Almost. Yeah, but we are still fine. It's important to keep an eye on the amount of people you have. If you have enough workers for everything, there's no point in having uh, like a tons of buildings without enough people to work there. I say, being a crown colony is a kind of competition. One you are losing, old chap. The colonies of Puerto Coco and Isla Rojo are beating you badly. So, uh, what do you want? Hmm. You have to pay the money if you want to stay friendly with the crown, but we are already broke. And I don't want to drop more into negatives here. I really want to start building more buildings as soon as possible. I guess in this case I will just uh, ignore this and lose some crown relations. It's not critical yet, but I will have to keep an eye on that. Okay. Finished the library already, and we are almost done with the sugar export. The king is very angry with you right now, old chap. It will be no easy matter to placate him, unless, of course, money is involved. Hmm. Money is involved. Yeah. Monday decreased. Well, that's the last thing I want to happen. So I guess I will have to pay the, the money after all. Oh crap. Well, never mind then. I can't lose the Monday, so... Okay, here is I your money. I understand you are still struggling with trivial things like money. I will aid you this time, but remember, I offer my help only once. Okay, so because this is the first mission and uh, the developers kind of expected us to fail a bit, uh, we will get um, some extra cash once, but this is probably the last time we can get it, as he said, but... Uh, I offer my help only once. So I definitely want to take the money and now hopefully our economy will uh, start working and we will be able to be self-sufficient. So accept. And we have the library and finally someone is working there. So let's have a look on our research. Some basic things this early in the game. Uh, first, I will go for cowboys to be able to upgrade my ranches to boost my uh, to boost my plantations. This will give me up, uh, upgrades for plantations and the last mines, so we can start mining. Uh, I will delay delay mines a bit because I don't have the cash to build them anyway. So I will first go for those upgrades, I guess. Okay, and go go. Maybe you can still uh, speed things up. I need uh, some of these quests to finish. Maybe... Well, first I will take this quest. President, as you know, it is your will alone that keeps Tropico together. Without you, the entire island would crumble to dust and be lost forever. Perhaps it is time to consider adding another member to your dynasty. Just to be on the safe side, I've done some research and discovered that you have around 95 cousins. We will need some sort of test to narrow the number down a bit. Do you have any ideas? That's a good question. These options affect what uh, skill the, uh, the another dynasty member will have, but uh, it's hard to guess what exactly that's gonna be. Uh, let's try arm wrestling competition. As the heir was born, 
all animals became quiet. A light shone through the skies, and La Chupacabra herself went to the crib and bowed to the infant. At least, that is what we will write in the history books. Hmm, nothing awesome, I have to say. Oh. I think I will take the finance sheer, even though that's uh, not that awesome. But maybe on higher level later, it... Uh, could make me some extra money, maybe in some missions where it will be really hard to get money. This could make a difference. Okay, let's take him. Altruist uh, is not really that important, I guess. I was thinking about him, but uh, it's just not enough money. Mm, just a thousand, that's like nothing. You get a lot more from other people. Administrator. We already have... Uh, uh, El Presidente, that, uh, who decreases the cost of our buildings. So I guess, uh, yeah, fine, here it is. And here we can change his look. Okay, businessman, that uh, uh, looks good for the financier, that fits well into that, but uh, the color of uh, the suit will be black. Everyone who will be part of our dynasty will have black clothes. Um, I would say he can stay bald. Uh, what about the hat? Oh, not this. Definitely not this. Oh, this looks kind of cool. And anything else? Mm, these glasses. Yeah, this guy looks cool. Okay, I'll take it. Rolando Martinez. Okay. And exit. We can't do anything else there. We don't have any money in our Swiss account, so it will have to wait for a bit before we can start in upgrading our our characters. Monies. Can we build anything? We probably can build uh, another house. There is a good, uh, one good thing about these uh, about these country houses. Uh, let me zoom in. They have a little garden uh, next to the house, so His the people Royal living there. His Majesty has instructed me to present you with this letter of commendation for your achievements in the name of the Empire. Okay, hold a thought. Here we have uh, quest finished, so uh, we still have two and a half a year for our mandate. So I guess I will get the money again here. And pause. What I wanted to say is, uh, each uh, house has this little garden next to it, so the people living there actually grow their own food. So all the food you have from your plantations goes uh, to the dog, and you get money from it. So I really like these houses. And now with the uh, with the gold we have, or gold, I will keep saying gold, uh, but I mean money we have, we can finish. Uh, the quest for the housing. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. And uh, maybe you can build one more building. Uh, how does it look like uh, with our. Where is it? Uh, trees. I want to. Try um, logging camp. Yeah, I think we can start one around here. Later, I will replace it. But for now, it will produce some extra money. I think this is a good position. And move on. Um, ba -dum. go 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 faster <laughs> I'm thinking Someone where I'm stole my build. manuscript and published it under a pseudonym. It was an autobiographical story about two men on a mountain who want to form deep male bonds. They even stole the surrealistic chapter where fairies prance under a rainbow. The circumstances behind the theft are very queer. 
Okay, so this is our research. We managed to research cowboys, and for every research, there is a comment like this, and I will uh, let the uh, penalty mode say it because some of those comments are really funny, really good. Um, here we have access to ranch upgrades. Okay, pause. What I was thinking about um, now with the, the money we have, I could actually add some entertainment or maybe religion. A Catholic mission probably isn't a terrible idea. Maybe here or here. Um, I want to have it uh, close to. Uh, areas where I will build my housing because upgrade for Catholic mission improves the quality of housing so it's good to have it close to your houses maybe even here yeah, this looks like a good place for a Catholic mission we can afford that so let's do it and fast forward I see the houses are ready Unfortunately, the islands of Puerto Coco and Isla Rojo have kidnapped the managers intended for you. Oh, right. Managers. I forgot to mention that. Uh, instead of the promised reward, we get mandate extension, which is definitely better. Uh, and what are those managers? Every building can get a manager. And uh, those are just uh, people with some special skills that appear on the island from time to time. And they boost the building somehow, or sometimes the, they boost buildings around the building where the manager is. We actually have access to two of those, so I should probably assign them. Hmm. <laughs> what about the fine shear? In the, our dog, yeah, higher, and um, the second is inventor. But it depends uh, not on the building where it actually is, but on its effectiveness. So we should probably check the effectiveness on our buildings. 100, we can get a lot more. 100. Uh, 147 and the effectiveness will go up as we uh, upgrade these uh, these plantations so that's probably a good place where to place our inventor I'll later probably replace him okay let's uh, place him uh, here probably and later we will change it but for now I think this is a decent location and go go Now we need some monies to finish this quest. Our mandate looks good. And Did another you quest. Know that okay. There are treasures buried on our island? We should investigate. And the quest to research shovel. Okay, we are working on that, so accept. Some support from revolutionaries. Uh, that's what we need to declare independence. Some gold gold. Some money from crown. This amount depends on your relations with the crown and because uh, I'm not exactly friendly towards the king, we are not getting that much. But four, four and a half thousand still not bad. And what I should do here is probably prepare my roads for Great my news. mines. While searching through the crates of colony supplies we found a sickle. Now we have something that goes perfectly with our hammers. This will boost production sky high. I can almost see the glorious future. Yeah, I can see that as well. So now we have access to the sickle. So we have access to upgrades to our plantations. Okay. And now I have to think if I should upgrade my buildings or save the money to finish this quest. And I think the more effective our buildings will be, our plantations and the ranches, the more money we're gonna get from them. So I think I will at least upgrade uh, my ranches. Upgrades are here and the upgrade is manure fertilizer and uh, the effect uh, is... Hold the thought, another quest. 
While His Majesty finds your island's backwardness most amusing, he is now worried that it will hinder his great plan. Okay, and this is a quest to research sickle from the crown. We already have that, so uh, it will be finished instantly, and we will get some extra mandate duration. His so, Royal Majesty good. has instructed me to present you with this letter of commendation for your achievements in the name of the Empire. Was this at the sickle? I thought they would just give us six months. Okay, well. Uh, I'll keep going, going for the money. Yep, this should finish this quest. Okay, so it chains perfectly. Come on, finish the quest. And... I want those upgrades. So, this upgrade will make all farms around more effective, up to... 20. So if we upgrade both ranches, you'll have the maximum effect from this. So that was uh, that's the reason why I built these ranches so where they are. So let's upgrade both. And what about our plantations? I still don't remember all uh, all upgrades from plantations because uh, each uh, crop on the plantation has different uh, uh, effect. What about bananas? Increase job job uh, quality. And work as well. Uh, why not? Uh, inoculation increases effectiveness by 100, and that's huge. It's pretty expensive, but the effectiveness increase is just brutal. So I definitely want to take this. And the last fiber fertilization increases the effectiveness of all other nearby uh, plantations and hydroponic farms by 10 up to 30 and it stacks up with uh, the bonus from ranches so yeah I think I'll pay for that I was also thinking about upgrade for this farm but I really think that I will replace it uh, quite soon and my, I may as well do it right now when I'm thinking about it um, mm -hmm. Before that, I'll actually have to explore my island a little bit because all this foggy, uh, all this foggy area is not explored yet, and I of course can't build there. So what I will do, I will send uh, explorers in this general direction. And prepare my roads at least on uh, this side. Or maybe I will wait for the shovel to start this mine already. Uh, okay, fast forward still. And I should also have a look at my edicts because uh, with the difficulty we have, we definitely could use something like a disaster relief fund. I am expecting that uh, uh, we will get some disasters really soon. It will cost us 350 every month, but. Um, with the amount of disaster we'll have, this will pay for itself. So I will grab it right now. I can afford to do that. And what about the extra rations? It increased happiness. I think we can take that as well. I usually take that quite soon. Okay. So now we just have to wait. And more shacks are appearing here. So I will Thanks probably to have to efforts. fix that. The revolutionary movement is growing stronger. Okay, more revolutionaries, because we discussed shovel. And I guess I will import revolutionaries, because those are educated, and some of our buildings need actually educated workers. And we can't educate our people just yet, so... These are kind of useful. Our research team, that is to say me, discovered the shovel. Forty times. If I find out who put it there, I will kill him. Anyway, I gave it to the miners so they can put it somewhere safe. Like, underground. Underground, yeah. Okay, mines. Uh, so, this is the shovel and we can start mining. So, let's uh, slow down a bit. Actually, no, not yet. We need some cash before we start our mines. We're gonna get uh, quite a lot of money from the next trade ship. Or cargo ship. Seven and a half. And we'll still get more... 
more guys with stuff running to the docks. Nine and a half. Okay, that's a lot. We are losing some money on upkeep of the colony. But, yeah, now with these two ships, we should be fine again. 5.7, that was from the Coco. And from the second one, it's just the rest of the goods we have access to. 9.6k. Okay, time to pause and... Oh, research. Forget about research. Uh, what's gonna be next? Probably lumber mill. We could probably uh, use that for a while. I will do some lo use some logging camps now. Uh, and uh, we can definitely get more money from planks than from logs. Next will be some military and foreman will be the last. Okay, so that's some of the research. And uh, now, time for those roads and mines. Definitely want to start the mine on this uh, iron deposit. So, let's build it there. And I will build roads around that. So, oh, really? I can't get there? It's un unexplored territory. Ouch. Well, what about something like this? No, I don't know. I don't like it. Okay, first I will send an expedition to this area so I can build my roads properly. Um, anything else? I wanted to start more plantations so I can replace this one. Uh, I will build the road around these plantations. Oh, this is too long, come on. When uh, you have the road too long, then the, those crossroads are weird, weirdly shaped. So, this looks good. Okay, right angle. And... Longer road here. And what's this? This is corn, right? And corn, that shouldn't be a problem. We can uh, have corn almost everywhere. Yep, it's a dark green really everywhere. So let's uh, place the farm around here. That should be fine. And maybe even some more. I'll have to think about that. I definitely want to demolish this one. So let's do that. Oof, I really don't want to have a farm this close to my dogs. I need a lot of buildings in this area and this just takes too much space. And we can take His another Majesty quest. His Majesty personally inspected several reports from your colony and discovered a major oversight in your designs. And really, I have to upgrade the plantation, so this will finish uh, instantly as well. We will get some extended mandate. Many people and... are ready to give their What's life this? for their ideals. You must be ready to take lives for yours. Yeah, you don't agree with me? I will have to take matters into my own hands and show you. The royalists on your island do not support independence and lower your approval. I have arranged for the deaths of several of them. This is an important lesson. Sometimes you have to make sacrifices to achieve your goals. Effect, several royalists have been killed. You have to love this guy, helping me so much with this. Killing people everywhere. Okay, so uh, my approval probably uh, will rise a bit after this. Okay. His Royal Majesty has instructed me to present you with this letter of commendation for your achievements in the name of the Empire. And this is uh, the quest for upgraded plantation. So we get plus six months and we get uh, some extra cash again, I would say. Yeah, I'll keep taking cash unless I really need to increase the duration of my mandate. Sometimes the rest is useful as well, but here we just need more money to set up the colony properly. So let's grab that and... Uh, I guess this will be all for this part. It's already long enough. Uh, we started our colony, some basics. We are getting some money, but um, we still have a lot of work to do. Because, as I said, we will get back to this island later. And it's really important to set everything properly. So, 
uh, you don't get into trouble later in the campaign. So we will still spend some time here uh, trying to micromanaging everything. But that will be the next part. Hope you like this one and that you will join me for the next one. And until then, have a good time and bye bye.